so what we have here is a very simplified version of the energy of life. So here we have the sun, a plant, various meats and proteins, and then uh, a figure of, of a, a man, of a human. So where does energy really come from? Where do we all use the same form of energy? Are all the mechanisms the same? Or, you know, how, 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 what is energy in general? Well, what happens here is when the sun's UV rays, that heat energy, remember, heat is energy. When those, that heat, which travels in waves, hits the chloroplast of plants, you're able, they're able to create something called photosynthesis. When they go through the process of photosynthesis, they're able to harness the energy of the sun and convert that into glucose, into technically it's starch, which is a form of glycogen in humans. Now, glycogen or starch in plants, and just to, just to, be, just to clarify, there is no glycogen in plants. What they do have is starch, and starch is a um, is a form of energy storage for plants. It's their energy reserves, their energy bank, and that when when animals consume that, or when animals or humans consume that, that glycogen then becomes glucose. That glucose, however, is not is not solely responsible for sustaining the energy of life. What you do have here, what the, 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 the molecule that is necessary for life is actually ATP. Now, plants, animals, humans, in fact, all organisms are that bind us all together. And the form of energy that we all use is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So where does it come from? So if you follow this trend here, if you look at the figures I have laid out, the sun gives energy to plants. They go through a process called photosynthesis. They harness that energy from the sun, convert it to glucose. Animals then consume those plants, and that glucose they consume from plants then becomes metabolized, and they in turn start to store that same energy. So they then they start to have energy reserves and energy banks in their bodies. Well, as humans, we consume both animals and plants, when we consume animals, for instance, we consume not only their glucose, but their energy. We consume their glycogen storages, their fatty acids, their carbohydrates. And then if you're a vegetarian per se, then we can, and you consume plants, well, you're consuming starch, which is another form of glycogen or glucose storage. So it's a linear trend. Plants get energy from the sun. Animals get energy from plants. Humans get energy from animals, plants, and the sun.